Hey everybody, welcome back. It's early morning in Texas. The sun's coming up behind us. We're gonna get this pit up to temp, and then we got some nice size butts that we're gonna rub up and bathe in smoke. Stay tuned. Pocket in the front for a chimney charcoal. Use the B and B. All right, for these two pork butts today, we're gonna to use the Honey Hog Barbecue by Meat Church and the Honey Bacon Barbecue by Meat Church. So we'll get these things in here and get them rubbed up. So we're gonna dry this a little bit. Just pat it dry, get some of that moisture off of it. All right, so a lot of people either leave the fat or they'll score the fat and they'll leave it on there to, to render on. My pit has enough moisture in it and this meat has enough fat in it that you really don't have to do that. So I'm gonna trim as much of this fat off as I can so I can make sure I get the best bark that I can on there. So we'll get that trimmed up right quick. All right, got the butts trimmed down. Now we're gonna coat them with some French's yellow mustard and then we'll uh, get the rubs on. As you can see, I trimmed a lot of the fat off, left some of it on to make sure we have some, some good fat rendering moisture, but most of it I, I trimmed off. So we'll take the yellow mustard and we'll put a, quite a bit of it on here. Just put it on there liberally. Then we'll rub that in. all good and rubbed in. You might be thinking, if you've never done a pork butt before, yellow mustard, yeah, why would you do that? Well, it works perfect as a binder. It, after it's smoked, you don't taste it. So it works really, really, really well holding on, holding on all your rubs and everything else, but you don't taste it. You can do the same with olive oil if you don't want to do mustard. You can use mayonnaise. You can actually use, you can actually use Italian dressing if you want. You can use Italian dressing. You can use honey mustard. You can use French's mustard, whatever you want to use. But this French's mustard or store brand or Kroger brand or whatever you have, this French's mustard is very, very cheap and it works very, very good. So, so now that we got the mustard done, we'll rub them up. We're using the Meat Church Honey Hog Barbecue and the Meat Church Honey Bacon Barbecue. So the first coat, put quite a bit on. miss any spots. This is what's going to help you get that bark on the outside of this pork butt. 
So when you shred it, you'll have all the flavor in it. This is a big piece of meat, so don't be afraid to put a lot of seasoning on it. By the end of it, a lot of it will be in your drip pan with the, with the drippings. But what's left will give you one delicious spark. So we got that one on. This Honey Hog Barbecue is some really good rub by Meat Church for, for pork. Uh, if you look down in the description, I have a link to, to this one. Uh, the Honey Bacon Barbecue, I just put a little bit on there because I really don't want my pork butt to taste like bacon, but I like the sweet flavor that it gives off. So I'll just put a little bit of that on there. But not nearly as much as the other one. And that should do it. So we'll get these in the pan, get them, get them ready to go, and get them out on the smoker. See you guys out there. All right, we got the pit up to temp. We're gonna load these pork butts into the into the smoker. Gonna smoke them about 275 degrees until an internal temperature about 195. Uh, hope to be done in about eight hours, but we'll see how long it takes. put these in fat side up. All right, it's gonna be about, probably about an hour, two hours. We'll check on them, see how they're doing, maybe spritz them if we need to, but uh, we did put water in the bottom of the pan. Actually put one gallon of water, one beer, and three cups of apple juice. We have a water pan at the bottom, so we got that water uh, going down there. So we'll come and see how they look here in about two hours. We'll catch you guys then. All right, guys, we have not opened this up for four hours. Uh, the internal temperature on the butts have reached about 160 and 165 on the little bit smaller one. We're going to open it up, we're going to pan it up, cover it up, wrap it up, and then stick it back in until we get to the 195. But four hours, this is the first look. Been rolling along about 275 degrees for the whole cook using the fireboard with a fan. It's kept it right within three or four degrees the entire cook. And uh, let's look at them. Oh yeah, they're looking good. Got a bark on it. The fat on the top is starting to split. This means it's about time to wrap it up. Yes sir, those are looking good. back on and cook them to about 195 internal and then we'll let them rest. See y'all then. Hey welcome back guys. Looks like the smaller of the two butts is already at 195 degrees. We're about six hours in. Again we haven't even opened this thing up but one time to put the full cover on so we're going to get in here and uh, probe it and see if it's ready. We'll leave the other one on. It, it's showing about 175 degrees internal temperature, so it needs a little bit longer. Let's check it out. So we'll get in here and 
see what's going on with it. Bark set in. Let's see what what this thing probes. Oh, it's like jelly. Oh yeah, this one is done. All right, we'll get inside and let it rest. We'll check on the other one here in a minute. See you all in a minute. All right, the second one shows to be at 195 degrees. Hopefully you can hear me over all this thunder. Looks like we're gonna get a Texas turd floater here in a few minutes. Let's probe this one to see, see how it does here. Oh yeah, 197 degrees, probe's real easy, it's ready. So what we're gonna do now is take it, put it in the cooler, put the towel over it with the other one. Then we'll check in and see how it came out in about two hours. I'm gonna let it rest for about two hours before dinner here. All right, see y'all guys then. So after sitting in a cooler wrap for about two hours, we're going to get this pork butt out of here and see what it looks like. Looking at the exterior, it's not nearly as dark on the bark as we would normally have. Uh, that's due to the people that we were eating with. They're really not real heavy on spices, so we try to keep it a little bit light. Uh, as you can see, the bone pulls away pretty easily. Uh, we're going to cut through this and kind of see what our smoke ring looks like. And then we'll shred it a little bit and give it a taste. Uh, if you had not had a chance yet, hey, hit that subscribe button. And you know what? If you like the video, hit that like button. But as you can see, we got a good smoke ring around this pork butt. Nice smoke ring. We're going to get this thing shredded up and uh, get it ready to serve. Uh, we cook two of them because what I do is I like to take a vacuum sealer bag and take the leftovers, vacuum seal them, and then you know what, it's some night that we don't feel like cooking, we'll just throw that in some hot water, warm it back up, and have nachos, tacos, or whatever else that the family might want.